Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 1, week 3 to 4 ng inyong mga modules. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung discussion ko about loss of exponent, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kasi dito mag-focus lang tayo sa inyong mga learning task. At disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa module ninyo. Kasi mas magandang matuto kayo kapag kayo mismo yung nagsusolve, okay? So, dito nga sa learning task number 1, express the following expression into non-zero and non-negative exponents. Simplify your answer. Review lang natin yung zero and integral exponent. Sa zero exponent, kapag may exponent na zero, automatically ang kanyang answer is positive 1. Kahit 100 raised to zero pa yan, that would be equal to positive 1. At be careful lang kayo sa mga parentheses kasi meron yung mga given na hindi kasali yung nasa tabi niya. For example, 100x raised to zero, hindi naka-parentheses yung 100x. Ibig sabihin, ang ma-exponent lang dito ng 0 is yung x lang. Kaya ang magiging sagot is 100. Pero kapag ito, yung may parenthesis, 100x raised to 0, ibig sabihin, kasali lahat yan at ang magiging sagot pa rin nito is positive 1. Magkaiba yung 100x raised to 0 kasi ang magiging sagot niyan is 100. Okay? Then, sa integral exponent naman, kapag negative yung exponent, magiging denominator siya or bababa siya, magiging positive yung exponent niya. So, that is 1 over a raised to n. And then, kapag naman yung given ay nasa denominator yung negative exponent, tataas naman siya, magiging positive yung exponent niya. So, yun lang yung basic rule sa integral exponent. Para mas maintindihan ninyo, let us try to answer this learning test. Number 1, we have 8 raised to negative 1. Ano sa tiningin nyo ang gagawin natin dito? Ang gagawin natin dito ay ibababa natin si 8 raised to negative 1. Pero magiging positive na yung kanyang exponent. So, magiging 1 over 8 raised to 1. Nasundan. And then, simplify that would be equal to 1 over 8 raised to 1 equals positive 8. At ito na yung final answer, 1 over 8. Diba? Madali lang. Next, number 2, we have quantity of 21 ABC raised to 0. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, lahat ito ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, naka raised to 0 lahat ito. Meaning, ang sagot nito is positive 1. So, ganun lang siya. And then, number 3, we have 10 raised to negative 7. Dito naman ay negative ang kanyang exponent. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin nating fraction or ibababa natin siya magiging 1 raised to 10 raised to positive 7 na. Magiging positive. And simplify, that would be equal to 1 over, since 10 lang naman ito, so maglagay lang tayo ng 7 na 0. Kasi 10 raised to 7 naman yan. So, maglagay lang tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that would be equal to 1 over 10 million. Ito na yung final answer. Okay? Number 4, we have 3 times quantity of xy raised to 0. As you can see, ang nakaparenthesis lang dito raised to 0 is yung xy lang. Simplify, that would be 3 times ito magiging 1 na lang, ba? Then, 3 times 1 equals positive 3. So, the final answer is positive 3. Okay? Number 5, we have 0 raised to 15. Kapag numultiply mo yung 0 ng 15 times, ang magiging sagot pa rin niya is 0 pa rin. Okay? Kasi hindi naman yung 0 yung nasa exponent. 
15 naman yung nasa taas. So, 0. Okay? Next, number 6, we have 24a raised to 8, b raised to 4, all over 4a raised to 5, b raised to 4. Ano nga ba yung loss of exponent natin pag nagdi-divide tayo? Pag nagdi-divide tayo ng variable, isubtract lang natin yung kanilang mga exponent. So, this will be 24 divided by 4 equals 6. And then, kopyahin muna natin yung a. Tapos, yung exponent niya, that is 8. Subtract natin yung exponent ng nasa baba. That is 5. And then, b raised to 4 minus 4. So, the final answer is 6a, 8 minus 5 equals 3. Then, b, 4 minus 4 equals 0. Simplify, di ba magiging 1 lang ito? So, ang magiging final answer nito is 6a cube lang siya. Okay, so ito na yung final answer. Okay? Number 7, we have quantity of 7x raised to 0 over y raised to negative 1. Ang gagawin natin dito, simplify muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis kasi PEMDAS tayo. Parenthesis muna bago exponent. Sa tingin ninyo, kasali ba yung 7 na naka sa 0 or yung x lang? Yung x lang. So, magiging 7 times x raised to 0 equals 1 lang yan. Over y, parenthesis, negative 1. Then, simplify. 7 times 1 equals positive 7 over y raised to negative 1. Then, ito, power of a quotient. Ibig sabihin, i-distribute natin yung negative 1 dito sa numerator and denominator. So, magiging 7 raised to negative 1 over y raised to negative 1. Pero, ang ginagawa natin dito is gagawin natin siyang non-zero at non-negative exponent. Ano ba ulit yung sinabi ko kanina kapag negative yung exponent? Ito, bababa magiging positive yung kanyang exponent. So, magiging 7 raised to 1. Ito naman, tataas, magiging positive yung exponent niya, magiging y raised to 1. Nasundan? So, the final answer is, y raised to 1 equals y over 7 raised to 1 equals 7. So, this is now the simplified form of this equation or expression. Alright? Number 8, ang given natin is 100 a raised to 5, b raised to 6, c raised to negative 5 over 10, a to the power of negative 2, b raised to 0, c raised to 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, isubtract natin yung exponent ng nasa numerator dito sa nasa denominator by loss of exponent. Unahin muna natin yung mga constant term. 100 divided by 10, that is equal to 10. And then, kopihin natin yung mga variable na a, tapos 5 minus negative 2. Ganyan. Then, b, raised to 6 minus 0. Then, c, raised to negative 5 minus 2. Simplify natin. Magiging, or 10 na lang pala ito. Magiging 10, a, 5, Tapos, negative times negative 2 equals positive 2 na. Then, B, 6 minus 0 equals 6. And then, C, negative 5 minus 2. Ano ulit yung rule natin kapag subtraction? Keep natin si negative 5. Change natin yung operation. Magiging plus. And then, change natin si 2. Magiging negative. So, negative 5 plus negative 2. Magkapareho ng sign i-add natin. Magiging negative 7. So, ito, negative 7 yung exponent niya. Okay? Simplify, magiging 10, A, 5 plus 2 equals 7, and then B, raised to 6. Ito naman, negative yung exponent niya, so ibababa natin, magiging C, raised to 7. So, the final answer is 10, A, raised to 7, B, raised to 6, over C, raised to 7. So, dito natin ilagay yung equal sign. This will be the final answer. Kasi binaba natin yung may negative na exponent, magiging positive. Okay? Number 9, we have 4x raised to 0, 
y raised to negative 5, z raised to negative 2 over quantity of 214xyz 0. Okay, so medyo mahaba ito or medyo complicated pero padadaliin natin para hindi kayo mahirapan. So, itong 4x raised to 0, di ba ang katumbas niyan is positive 1. So, 1 lang yan. Kopyahin muna natin to y raised to negative 5, then z raised to negative 2 over, ito naman, lahat itong terms na to ay naka raised to the power of 0. So, positive 1 lang yan, kahit napakalaki pa yan. Okay? And then, as you can see, meron tayong negative na exponent. So, ang gagawin natin, ibababa lang natin yan. Magiging positive yung kanyang exponent. So, magiging y raised to 5. And then, yung z naman, magiging raised to positive 2. Okay? So, ganun lang siya magiging 1 over y raised to 5, z raised to 2. Ganun lang siya mga anak. Okay? Next, number 10, we have quantity of 5xy raised to 0 over 10 raised to the power of negative 2. So, ang gagawin muna natin, yung nasa loob muna ng parenthesis, yung 5xy raised to 0, ang katumbas lang yan is positive 1 lang, ba? Over 10, kopyahin iyon. Then, parenthesis raised to negative 2. Then, by power of a quotient, i-distribute natin yung power dito sa loob ng quantity. So, magiging 1 raised to negative 2 over 10 raised to negative 2. Since negative silang pareho, ang gagawin natin sa numerator, magiging, bababa tayo, magiging denominator siya, magiging 1 raised to positive na. Then, ito naman, negative yung exponent niya. So, itataas natin, magiging positive na yung exponent niya. Then, simplify. 10 squared equals 100, then 1 squared equals 1. So, 100 divided by 1 equals 100. So, this will be the final answer. Alright? Number 11, meron tayong quantity of AB over 7 raised to the power of negative 1. So, ang gagawin natin, distribute muna natin yung negative 1 sa numerator at denominator. Magiging AB parenthesis raised to negative 1 over... 7 raised to negative 1. Kagaya lang din dito sa number 10, itataas natin si 7 raised to negative 1, magiging positive 1 na yung exponent. And then, ito naman, ibababa natin, magiging AB raised to positive 1. Simplify. 7 raised to 1 equals 7 over AB raised to 1 equals AB. So, this is now the final answer. Okay? Number 12, we have 9 over X raised to negative 2. 2. So, ano ang itataas natin? Ibababa ba natin yung 9 or dito na lang siya sa numerator? Hindi naman negative yung exponent niya, so dito na lang siya sa numerator. Ito lang ang itataas natin magiging x raised to positive 2. So, the final answer is 9x squared. Okay? Number 13, 12b raised to negative 3 over a raised to negative 4. Dito naman sa numerator niya, ang naka to the negative exponent lang is yung bilang. So, yung bilang ang ibababa natin, matitira si 12. Okay? And then, ito naman itataas natin magiging a raised to 4. mag stay si 12, ibababa natin si b raised to the power of 3. Then, itataas natin si a raised to negative 4, magiging a raised to positive 4. Since hindi na natin yan masimplify kasi magkaiba sila, A ito at B ito, ito na yung final answer. Nasusundan nyo ba? Next, number 14, we have 1 over A raised to negative 6N. So, ito, negative yung exponent niya, itataas natin magiging 1, kopyahin lang ito, times A raised to 6N na magiging positive. So, the final answer is A raised to 6n. So, yan na yun. Number 15, we have quantity of 1 half raised to negative 5. Ang gagawin naman natin dito, distribute lang natin yung power. So, magiging 1 raised to negative 5 over 2 raised to negative 5. Itataas si 2 raised to negative 5 magiging positive 2 raised to 5 over 1 raised to 5. 
2 raised to 5 is equal to 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 times 2 equals 16 times 2 equals 32 over 1 raised to 5 equals 1 and 32 divided by 1 equals 32. So, this is now the final answer. Yun lamang kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung susunod na learning task, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay? Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!